Hello and welcome to the Body Mat YouTube channel. I am Ulu Ashei Salako. To all my new subscribers, I want to say thank you so very much, especially those from my Facebook group. If you're new, welcome and please subscribe. In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to download, extract or unzip and transfer your files from your computer to your embroidery machine. To do this, we would need a pen drive, USB drive or whatever you know this transfer device as. Any brand is good, they're all same, but differs in capacity. Let's get into the tutorial after the intro. We would start with Etsy. When you buy designs of Etsy, after your purchases, your files will be under your profile. It will be in your purchases. All you need to do is log into your Etsy and go to your purchases to download your files. All the, th all the files you must have bought or the things you must have bought from Etsy will be there. Etsy will also send you an email with a link to your file in case you don't know how to get to your purchases. This link will lead you to your download. In the email, you would have a unique other number that would direct you to where your file, to where to download your file. Next, we will take another example, this time Embroidery Super Deal. I love this website for embroidery bits and bobs. I will encourage all beginners to subscribe to this website. It's only $20 for the whole website and you don't have to pay anything more. I am not in any way affiliated to them, but I think this is a good website. Just like Etsy, your purchase file will be in your profile. All you need to do is log in. An email will also be sent to you to lead you to your download. We will try another website, this time applique with character. I will leave my affiliate link down in the description if you would like to purchase design from them of download applies here as well your file in your profile or purchases and also an email now we can see that wherever we buy our files from the process is almost the same it appears on your profile stroke purchases and in an email now let's download from it say our download is right there and we click on the download it opens up all the files that are available. You have to choose whichever file your machine is able to use. I use a Genomi 500E and so it's a JEF file that I need. You will know what file you want. You open that and we extract. I would always advise you have a new file for your extract, either on your desktop or anywhere you like it, but have a new file that you extract into. I would always do this on my on my desktop before I became used to how to extract. So you go to open new file. When you open new folder, you name it by clicking on it. Let's name it, um, I don't know, whatever you want to name it. Just name it, anything you want to name it. I would name it Etsy embroidery file now. Click on the folder and select folder. You are saying this is where you want your files to be extracted into. And so it selects that folder to, sell, to extract your files. It extracts your files into that folder. You cannot use your embroidery file without extracting it. It's like when you travel and you have a luggage bag. You cannot use anything from that luggage bag except you open it. It's in a file, it's in a zip file because there is, it's a huge file. That's why it's in a zip file. So we have to extract before we can use. Now that we've extracted our files, we can move them to either a software for modification or to add something else to it or straight into our embroidery machine. To move them straight into our embroidery machine, we will need a USB stick or a flash drive. When the USB stick is into our computer, we want to choose a file type, click on it, 
and drag into the USB stick before we plug the st stick into our embroidery machine. Now we are able to use our design or file on our machine, on our sewing, on our embroidery machine. I hope this tutorial has helped shed light on how we can download, move, and extract our files for usage on the embroidery machine. Thank you.